Hi and welcome to Data Garden. Thanks for checking out my video. I hope you're doing very well. In the last video, which was a tutorial for ggplot2, we learned how to create this line plot with multiple lines where you're showing two sets of data in one plot and you can see how they uh, move uh, against each other over time. One of my viewers has uh, then asked in the comments if uh, I could also do a video on how to apply smoothing techniques to this uh, data set or to the plot. And that's what we're going to do today. If you haven't seen the last video and you don't have this code available, then I will put it uh, in the description box for you so that you can just start working right at this point and you don't need to recreate this code from the last tutorial before you can do this one. So we see here uh, the two lines of data, the two, uh, two time series data. And what we want to do today is we want to apply two different smoothing techniques to the orange line of data here, which is the uh, unemployment data, the number of unemployed people. And how you can do that is, um, I guess there are at least two possible ways. The first, and that's I think the cleanest one, is that you first create the smoothened data in the original data set as a new column, and then you just create a new uh, line here, where on the for the y definition you reference the column in which the smoothened data is. An alternative way is that you also you can create the smooth data right in here in the ggplot command so that you don't save it in your data frame, you only have it in your plot. Uh, I don't recommend you to do this, but uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I will demonstrate how it works as well. But let's get right into it and we're going to start with the lowest um, prediction algorithm or smoothing algorithm. And um, we are going to create a new column in the Longley data set that uh, will be called unemployment smooth. And there we apply the uh, lower smoothing algorithm. So let's start with um, typing Longley um, dollar unemployed, and then we add like a dot smooth. And we define that with a little arrow to the left, S. And now comes the tricky part. I'm going to start by creating the learning algorithm for the um, lowest smoother. So that goes by the command lowest. And then we have to define a formula similar to how you would define the formula, for example, for a, a linear regression. So it would be such that, um, I actually, I'm actually going to type it out, formula equals unemployed, unemployed and then um, oh, we use uh, this swung dash and it will be with the year. So unemployed as a function of year. Then we have, we type a comma and we have to define the data from which uh, we we get the um, the two columns and that will be data equals longly and then finally we have to at the very least still define uh, define this span command now I guess the default value here is uh, zero point seven five but we are going to go with zero point five. Now let's run this command and as you see it doesn't work out, we create an error message. Replacement has 18 rows, data has 16. That is because if we run this command, I will also run it just on its own without defining it as a column here. What we get is actually a learning algorithm. So what we have to do is we have to create a predict algorithm around this one, such as predict opening bracket and then the closing bracket in the very end. And what we do is we create the predicted, so to say the fitted values 
for this learner that we have just created on the original uh, training data. So let's run this again. And now we, saw it say, we see it goes without error. And if we now go to the Longley data set, we see that here is the smoothened data also already included in the new column. Now, if we want to add that data to our plot, we can do it uh, simply by uh, creating a new line. So we would create it ideally, I think, before the labs command. You can also do it afterwards, but um, to make it more clean, I would start here in this line. And we do it very uh, in the same way as um, very much in the same way as we have done before, where we create a new geom line. And the data will be longly, comma, the mapping will be AES, and then in brackets, x equals a year, and y equals unemployed dot smooth. And then we have to move one bracket to the right, and we will define it as um, color equals. Um, Let's try orange 2, and we are going to make it um, with an alpha of, let's say, 0 0.5. And let's also add this alpha um, here in the previous line command so that we can bo see both lines overlapping. And uh, unfortunately, both of the orange tones are very similar, but um, let's actually do it in a different way. Let's do this in yellow. Okay, and now we see here the original data in the orange and the smoothened data here in the yellow line. Now, what you can do is now, of course, you can play around with the smoothing parameter here, the span, which is um, basically the number of observations that will be taken into account to um, make the estimation for each, uh, each point. And if you set it to a lower value, let's say 0 0.4, then the line will be more close to the original line. Whereas if you set it to 0 0.8, let's say, then the line will be much more straight, or much more smooth, rather. You see it almost doesn't follow the original line anymore, just a very rough trend. Now, for the second example, we want to use the lowest smoothing function. And this has a bit of a different command. But what we also want to do is we want to um, add it directly into our ggplot command without creating a new um, a new column in our data frame. So once again, we start at the end of the um, of all the commands where we uh, create the different elements of the plot, and we add another plus. And I, by the way, I forgot to add this plus previously so that the title was lost. But uh, now I will remember to put a plus in the end of this line as well, so that we still have the titles here. But for now, we add another geom line command. And it starts again with the very same procedure as the last time, where we define the data as a longly data set and the mapping as AES and then in brackets x equals year, comma y equals. And now it gets tricky because now we actually have to create the prediction command. And the prediction command for the lowest smoother is low s, l o w e e s. And then in brackets, we have to define the x value, which is uh, the year in this, time, uh, in this case, comma the y value, which is um, unm and we have to define the smoothing factor, 
which in this case is um, here the f value, the standard is two thirds, but we are also going to go with 0 0.5 for a start. Now the trick is uh, the command will not work like this because it will um, give a list as an output and you still have to below the, um, no, behind the command for the lower smoother, you have to type dollar $y, which y are the predicted values of the smoothing function. And then after the second closing bracket, which is the one for the AES command, we will type color equals, um, let's say, green and alpha, uh, alpha equals 0 0.5 once again, which by the way, the alpha, it, um, it's kind of like the opacity of the graph, by the way. I guess I didn't really explain that properly. And then finally, after the last closing bracket, the plus so that we have our title back. Let's press run. And there we go. We see that with the smoothing factor of 0.5, the two lines, the smooth lines are quite similar together. Now, if we um, put the f value a bit lower to let's say 0 0.3 then this green line will be much closer to the original line and the yellow line with a span of 0 0.8 is the more smoothed one. Now I have to say that this relatively short um, time series that we have here is maybe not the ideal one to experiment with this data. Uh, so I recommend that if you want to try out these functions, then maybe you want to um, get yourself a slightly longer time series and uh, then experiment with that. Also, just as a tip, so to say, with both of these smoothing parameters, the span here as well as the f value, um, a higher value means more smoothing and a lower value means less smoothing. But in particular with, uh, um, with the span value, for many data sets, there will be a minimum that you need in order to get uh, usable data. For example, if you enter for this data only 0 0.1, you will find that the function can actually mathematically not work because the data is not fit for such a low level of smoothing. So I hope that you have found this uh, little tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, then um, please leave them down below in the comments. If you need any help with the mathematical part of these smoothing functions, then uh, I would also be willing to do a tutorial on that where we go more into the technical aspects of these functions uh, in one of the next videos. And uh, finally, if you have any other questions regarding R for topics that you would maybe find interesting for a future tutorial, then uh, yeah, also leave them down below and uh, I will make sure to follow up with you. Thanks for watching and bye bye.